Hi, I'm Scott Nessler from the Mendoza College of Business at the University of Notre Dame. I'd like to welcome you to this volume of Editor's Cut on analytics in sports. It's an exciting collection of articles from both research journals and magazines, as well as some videos and podcasts about a growing area of analytics. Many who publish in this field are sports enthusiasts who combine what they do in their day job with an application area of intense interest. But for a growing number of colleagues, working in sports analytics is a viable career option. It seems to me that many people equate sports analytics with baseball statistics, likely due to the smash hit Moneyball, both the book and the movie. And while sabermetrics was the most common use of analytics in sports for a few decades, the seeds have been around in other sports, like football and basketball, for more than 60 years. Newer uses are appearing in soccer, hockey, even NASCAR, as well as a variety of Olympic and recreational sports. Now, depending on where you draw the line, sports analytics can also include fantasy sports, fitness, and professional online gaming. We are seeing explosive growth in sports analytics due to an increased awareness of what is possible combined with data that was previously unavailable. Interest on the part of owners, managers, coaches, and athletes make it an exciting time to be an analytics professional in the sports industry. Analytics is the process of transforming data into insight for making better decisions. In sports analytics, these decisions include player evaluation for recruiting, scouting, and trades, lineup selection and arrangement, in-game strategy using game theory, and more business-oriented decisions like fan and consumer modeling, ticket sales, and even in-venue sales forecasting. Newer instrumentation such as Major League Baseball's StatCast system, or the SportView cameras installed in every NBA arena, and the use of individual biometric physio monitors in nearly every sport offer new opportunities for data-driven decisions. Many articles in this volume come from interfaces, which focuses on practical applications. There are also articles from management science, decision analysis, marketing science, operations research, informs transactions on education, ORMS Today, and Analytics Magazine. This collection is just a small sample of the hundreds of articles on this subject that appear in Inform's publications. To get started, I'd suggest that you take a look at the new article on quality, subjectivity, and sustained performance at the Olympic Games. Or check out the article, Identifying the Players in Sports Analytics, from the special issue of Interfaces from just a couple of years ago. Oh, and don't miss the video about Kevin Kelly, the coach who bases his decision to never punt on analytics. Hopefully, you'll find this volume of Editor's Cut both interesting and useful. Thank you for tuning in.